Hi, good morning. Um, Caddy LeMay here, Caddy Snyder. Um, uh, welcome, Elizabeth. Um, Shrek had asked me to do a project for my Ganey gals. Um, I am a, like two minutes early a little bit just so we can all get situated um do you want to i've got my sidekick with me who always does all my videos with me come on oh. say can you say good morning good morning okay go down good we're morning. my little future gainy girl right here we're not quite there yet maybe mini camp huh after our little lockdown maybe you'll show us that you're ready to go to mini camp i don't know we'll see but can i please be <laughs> what <laughs> all right Okay, so just a little background about me. Um, I went to camp from 1990 with Elizabeth, who was in my first tent, um, until I think my last summer there was 07, 08. Took some time off in there. Um, did the whole from unit two junior camp all the way up to 16, JC the 97. Um, head of the waterfront at one point, head of senior camp at one point. Um, my life like, during the summer camp was camp, um, and it was the best. Um, I love going to camp, love being on the, uh, on that Greenbrier River. Um, I am an art teacher for the city of Virginia Beach. I teach currently, um, kindergarten, first grade. Well, I did until we were in lockdown. Okay, Eleanor Lindley, I'm about to have you banished. Oh. You need to behave, please. Oh, this is, uh, you know, week three of uh, staying at home, so we're a little antsy. Um, but I have been doing these videos for my kids at school as well as for friends I'm putting at this home. Away. Okay. All right. <laughs> and I'm a little bull. Oh, well, we're getting ready to draw. Okay. Oh, All right. So, friends, we are going to make this today. Okay, now when I think of camp, I always think of our fabulous traditions, and that as an older alum, as a mom, uh, someone who I love our traditions at Camp Allegheny. I love campfires, I love vespers, I love spending time on the Greenbrier River. And why do I um, have to be the gray team? Because that's the team we're on, honey. Um, so, but I love that idea of tradition. When I think of camp, I automatically think of things are symbols that represent camp. So obviously we have our tent, um, and then we also have, you know, our fabulous sweet rolls on Sunday morning. I'm not sure if they do that anymore. They did that um, morning. Good morning. Um, so we are going to make our lantern. Obviously these lanterns um, are a long tent row, and you can't take them in the tent. If you take them in the tent, bad news, right? Um, cause you know bad stuff so we don't do that um and Why does it cause we, bad stuff well because if it trips over the tank can go up but we don't want that right because the camper always safe okay so we're going to draw good morning good morning um we're going to draw our lantern today um it looks more complicated than it is um, and we're going to break it down to shapes and then we're going to go into it. And as Eleanor asked me earlier, do I have to color it blue? For me, blue is like iconic with Camp Allegheny. But maybe you are getting ready to start your um, startup summer and you want it to be yellow. Or maybe you want it to be blue and green for Midway. Um, or maybe you want to be purple for being in a JC. Or I'm not real, real sure what color the... Um, the, the new program, is. I don't know what color that is, but whatever those are, or maybe you want to do tie-dye for mini camp, um, it's up to you. It's your artwork. It's how you feel, how you want to do things, okay? And of course, we have to have the background with our mountains in the back, all right? So here's the example. Now, friends, I have drawn it again, but I have broken it down into different shapes. And you'll see that we have our circle, like top thing. Then we have another shape here, another shape here, kind of a rectangle. These kind of arms of the lantern. 
And then also we have the bottom It's here. a little more easier to do the bottom first. Well, we're going to start at the top. And then we have these crisscross yeah. things right in here. Okay? <laughs> All right. So, friends, you need to have a piece of paper. Now, I have, me and Eleanor have thick paper today. That's just what we have. And um, right now I'm using it as a fan. That's right now she's thinking of the fan. Apparently it's a little hot here in Chesapeake. Um, and we are going to use some a pencil. You can use I like mechanical pencils. She's got a nice little number two over here, which works great. Um, and markers to color it in. Good morning, good morning. And um, we are using just some basic alcohol markers, but, but Crayola are fine. Um, you could also use colored pencils or... Um, crayons, any kind of coloring thing you want to do. If you want to, um, as you should be excited for camp there, Kelly, it's the best thing ever. Um, whatever colors y'all want to do it. So, all right. So I'm going to draw here. I'm going to tell you what to draw and then I'm going to show you, and then you're going to try and follow along with me. Now, if I go too fast and sometimes that does happen, um, I'm pretty sure this live feed will still be on camp's page. So you guys can go back and check it out if you want to finish it up. Um, I'll also ask, um, Elizabeth if she'd like for me to take it and turn to a YouTube, um, video, which I've been doing for my kids at school easily done so it's okay if you can't catch it all now remember you guys just try your best that's all we're asking for this isn't going to go in a major gallery or anything like this this is just to make you feel happy and think about what's coming up in 90 days if i'm correct that's that's when um camp starts um 90 so, not 111 no 90 that's what that's what elizabeth posted yesterday i read her blogs um so all right so that's go ahead and get this started all right, so I'm going to start at the beginning at the top here in this area right here. But can and I start on the bottom? Whatever, whatever, float your boat. The bottom is way more easier to do. So first. we're going to start with a curved line right here at the top. Y'all can see it. A curved line right there at the top. I'm all trying right. to draw a bottom. Okay. Is, and does my then bottom we're look gonna, good? We're going to make it curve up again. You're going to go up and then come down. So it kind of looks like, ooh, there we go, like that, kind of like little thing, all right? Does then at the me? top here, we're going to make another curve line, so it's a half a circle. Now, friends, here, that if you draw lightly, then it's going to be easier for you to erase. So I can already see that I want to change mine up a little bit here to make it so that little bump comes more towards the oh, middle. Mine won't be able to have any mountains. Okay, I, okay, you need to relax, Eleanor. We're having a bit of a breakdown. Seven, seven, and on week three of quarantine, it's, it's, it's a bit rough around the edges. All right, no problem. All right. I won't be able to do my mountains. I will help you, okay? I will help you. All right, now, friends, we're going to draw some lines that are going to come down. I know, because... <laughs> Yes, we talked about it right before we came on that we are part of the gray team and have been for generations. And she goes, well, what's the other team? And I said, the blue team, which is nothing wrong with the blue team, but we're on the gray team. <laughs> That's just the way it worked. All right, so friends, you're going to draw some lines that are going to go diagonal here. Just a little slight indentation of where the... This line looks good. Okay. Yes, it looks great. But um, I won't be able to draw any mountain. Okay, we'll fix it. All right, so friends are going to come down like this, all right? And then we're going to come out. It's going to, like, um, flare out a little bit. And then we're going to go around like this. I should have done them your way. Okay, it's a little crooked run right now I'm drawing, but that's okay. Because I can always go back if I'm drawing lightly. Then I can always go back and fix it. I think I actually may come in here. Because my top line here is not as curved as I liked it to be. Okay, so here's the base right here. It's still a little crooked, but we can go back and fix it. Doesn't uh, look good? It looks great. It looks great. Absolutely. I won't be able to draw my mountains. Okay, we'll draw the mountains, okay, Elle? Oh. Would you like to step away for a moment? Okay, go step away. Okay. Can I play? Can I play on my computer? Yes. <laughs> it's been a rough couple of days. All right, so we've got it here. Now, friends, we're going to come in here and we're going to draw a rectangle. And the rectangle is going to come right underneath here, friends. All right, 
it. And I'm actually going to come back in here and make it a little bit more curved here. It's all just a little crooked. Now, friends, I didn't take a whole lot of arts and crafts at camp during my time tenure at um, Camp Allegheny because I spent most of my time in the river. That's all I ever wanted to do. And I think one, one summer, and I went full term a lot, um, I think almost all of my camping years except for two summers, um, I went full term. So I had, and full term then was eight weeks. Um, or maybe, yeah, it was full eight weeks. So um, it was, I was there all summer long. Okay, so friends, I have made... Um, a rectangle. Now I'm adding things right down here. Okay. And we're getting ready to work here right in the middle of our lantern, like the center part. Um, so I made another rectangle right under here. All right. And then we're going to add one more here. Curve line. I think I may be working a little bit bigger than I need to this morning, but that's all right. We're getting ready to make the top. Um, yes, go swimming. I actually took two. They let me take either when I was 16, 15, they let me take two classes of swimming. It was awesome. Um, and I took some canoeing in there too. Uh, but I didn't spend any time on the rifle range. That didn't interest me. Um, did spend some time in drama. I'm a bit of a, you know, drama queen. Uh but didn't spend a whole lot of time in arts and crafts. I guess I just wanted to be outside. All right, so friends, I'm now here making my base of where the, the fire would be, okay? The dome part. And I remember the fabulous uh, maintenance class actually taking in and cleaning them by hand. Um, I don't know if they still do that or not, but I was always amazed in their amazing skill. Um, all right, so you have your, your base of the inside. What about, they didn't have cooking then. Cooking was an option. I think that's awesome. No, they had the, they had the dining hall on um, lockdown. We weren't allowed to go in there during the day. Um, so we didn't have cooking and we didn't have photography. Um, I don't even know what other cool things you guys have. Um, but we didn't have any of those things. Um, we did have horseback riding for a while. I, did, I didn't like horses, so I didn't take that either. <laughs> Most of the time, you just always found me at the river. Okay, so then, friends, we're going to add the bottom here. It's just it's kind of cool right here. All right. So we've got our base of our lantern going on right now. It's a little, mine's a little crooked this morning, but that's all right. Um, now we are going to start to add the arms. Now you're going to come up back up to this part right here. And you're going to add the arms, which are just um, curve lines. That's all they are. So the curve lines are going to come up here. I'm going to come down. And I always like to do a little sketch approach where I just drew nice and lightly coming in. And then I come back over here. Because this is kind of a, kind of a difficult drawing. It has lots of lines. And I definitely would not assign this to, uh, fix it, definitely want to assign this to like my kindergarten first graders. Um, I'm back. You're back? Are you better now? Okay, cool. All right, so when I get finished this, I'll let you start working on that, okay? Okay, because, because, I, drew, because, I, drew, because I drew mine too high. Yeah. I was just trying to make, I was trying to make mine... A different from yours? Yeah, but it doesn't have to be different. It can... Okay, so we have the base right here going on, okay? So the arms are a little, but we can always go back and fix them, but you get the gist of it. All right, so then you are going to... When it when it comes to the coloring time, I can color this. Yes, you can color that one. Um, you're going to go ahead and add the thing. It's a cross little nest thing that hold hold the glass in and it also allows for the fire to stay in the glass um doesn't go everywhere it contains it so all those are my friends are just another curve lines i was making my 
My van told new school. New school? Not old oh. school. That's what Eleanor said. It's, it's, she was making her new school. Um, and we're going to take that line and we're going to curve it. New school is new. Yeah, well. It's Anthony. a new one. And we're going to bring it down again so it looks like this. And these parts was try me trying to do that part. Okay. All right. Then... Actually, and I'm going to go ahead and take this line right here. Y'all can see it. And I'm going to make it, I'm going to draw it so it goes over to connect the arms here. Okay. Now I'm going to take that line here and I'm going to come up. And I'm almost going to double it and bring it down. And now friends, remember that the glass is actually clear. So you're going to be able to see from the um <laughs> I kind of like the old school lanterns. Um, but, you know, that me, I just like old school. Um, and I like new school. Are they are they battery operated? Yes. Yes, yeah, that's a lot of batteries. <laughs> um, and two so, batteries, the, actually. Remember, so, friends, we're going to see the back of it because our glass, ideally, is clear. if not full of sun. All right, so that's one side. Now we're going to come around and we're going to do the second side here. And we're going to start on... The left here gonna go up like this okay All right and then we're gonna come around we go down I don't know, what are the comic thingies down they're here? saying they're watching they're asking different questions all right so we're starting to see our base of our lantern here okay um we do need to add one more little doodad here we need to add our our little circle down here that's where the fire would be can mine be rainbow sure if you want it to be rainbow okay yeah. hold on that yeah I'm right, putting okay. it over here. Now, the last thing we're going to do down here. Now, my lantern, when I just drew it right now, is kind of big and bold because I just dropped it down to very basic shapes for you guys. Um, I didn't make it very sm small, but that's okay. Whatever size you want to work with, totally fine. This is just for fun. There is no truly right or wrong thing. That's why I love to teach in art. That's why I love doing art. It's however you want to do it. All right. And I made it a... So you have to have this thing here because it helps turn on the fire, right? So if it doesn't work, then um, we need it? some more gasoline in there, kerosene in there, right? Okay. <laughs> Which only counselors do, right? Or I don't even know if counselors still do it. I don't know if who does it now. I do remember doing it as a, as a unit head and mine, as a head counselor. Mine, mine is a... Mine, this is actually a new one. Is gasoline? It it confuses the gasoline, but when somebody puts actually puts too much in it, that is bad news. Okay. Um. Then then right. then it and then it puts then it puts then it takes enough out. Okay. All right. So friends, now we're gonna add our mountains because you know can't all again with nothing without the mountains. So we've got a nice curve line here, and then we're gonna have another curve line. Going off that other side. So our lantern really smack down in the middle of our mountains. Okay. And then we're also going to draw a horizon line. A horizon line is what? Do you know what a horizon line is, Eleanor? Does it go up and down or side to side? Side to side. Side to side. Very good. All right. So we're going to bring our horizon line right under cross like that. Okay. Now, if this was something that I was going to go back and touch up and stuff, I, now's the time to do that to make it, you know, if you don't, you want to tweak it here and there. But for time purposes, I'm just going to go ahead um, and start showing you guys techniques on how you're going to do the background. Now, you guys obviously do not have to do the background, same as me. You can do whatever, however you want, but I do want to show you how I did it very simply. Um, so I am using Kelly Art um markers here they were on my wish list um at christmas time and my fabulous husband um he put he, he loves giving me art supplies so this is what i'm using here but of course crayola crayons are fine color pencils are fine um i'm Look, look anything how I'm doing. to add some color, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Look now, what I'm doing. 
beautiful. All right, so how I did the background here is I took several different shades of green, and all I'm doing is here, I'm just going, it's making um, swatches, if you call them that. Um, I'm not making swatches. You're not making swatches? All right. Because I want to, I'm gonna take my time on the lantern. Okay. So here I just made some swatches, and then I'm just gonna fill in with the rest of my different shades of green. Um, look, look at mine. Do you like my grass? Uh huh. My mountains are gonna be are gonna be a little different color than yours. That's okay. Now, while I haven't been to camp per se, I haven't been on the grounds in in a couple years. Eleanor and I did a tour a couple years ago, and it looked fantastic. Um, I'm really jealous of the new bathroom situation uh, because we didn't have that. <laughs> um, and we were always making sure that our curtains um, were long enough in the bathrooms and the showers. Um, it all looks fantastic now. The new, everything looks wonderful. Um, but we have, my family, because we love West Virginia and we love the Greenbrier River so much, um, we're very fortunate that we have a river house um, about 26 miles down the road from camp. Um, so we spend every... We spent a week or two up there in West Virginia because I just couldn't go a whole summer without not being close to the Greenbrier River. That's where my heart is. Isn't your heart wet the river? Do you love the river too? Yes, I love it. Yes. So I'm just going in here. At the river, can we please bring the computer to the river house? <laughs> What's the point if we bring the river to the computer to the river house? We're supposed to be outside. So you're going to continue this motion around your lantern, okay, friends? And then at the bottom, um, again, I use green because I always remember that the grass is super green at, at camp. Um, the maintenance crew, the green team are phenomenal and they always uh -huh. keep the grounds just so beautiful so i just went ahead um and i'm using my i don't have that color so i did mine a little a little more old school okay <laughs> back when they they wanted dale okay this so is so many here and coloring it like this okay i'm just going over here and coloring it now your lantern friends traditionally it is this blue color um, but you can do any color you want. You can. Or rainbow. Or rainbow. Um, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe I want to do red for upstart. Or maybe um, I stick with traditional blue because I like it blue. So then you're just going to go with him, friend, and you're just going to color it. Now, if you're not completely satisfied with your drawing, you can always go back, erase do it again okay um so as you can see mine's a little bit tighter here looser here it does not matter look at mine yes but mine is an example that i'm coloring because i made a mistake with with mine that's okay right so we're all just learning um if you wanted to add a flame in there you could too if it's at night time um whatever seriously whatever floats your boat um whatever or floats your canoe um, so whatever makes you happy, I think I'm going to do, um, start with my blue over here. I'm starting with my red, because red's the beginning of the rainbow. Okay, well that makes sense. Yellow, but, but, in my rainbow deck, they they forgot some colors of the rainbow in there. No way. They actually did. No way. All right, well, friends, I hope that you are all staying home and you're staying well and you are listening. Um, I don't know. I'm in Virginia, so our governor just told us that we have to stay home. So, and I also have a sister who is an ERPA canoe. Um, so she works in the P, uh, the ER, and she's currently in um, Georgia. Um, so for yeah, our healthcare, I know for our healthcare uh, professionals and for our grocery people and our stockers and our drivers, the people who are putting in long, long hours, let's stay home, be safe, so that we can actually go to camp. And 90 days and get this um, cleared up. Um, all right, I will. That's it, friends. I hope it, you are. But I'm not finished. Keep coloring. Keep coloring. They don't, okay? see, they don't need to see us color. So I can color even when the video is done. Yes, absolutely. Um, and then we'll post it on the um. On, we'll we'll post a picture on camp um Facebook page if that's all right. Um, 
And uh, I will take this and turn it into a YouTube and I will send to Elizabeth and she can put it onto her onto the page so y'all can check it out. Um, Elizabeth, thank you so much for this opportunity. Super fun. Um, and you guys stay safe. Oh, also, if you guys want to check me out, I'm doing another lesson for just everyone on um, pandas. Um, it's a little bit more geared towards, you know, your K through maybe, second and third graders. Maybe next graders. week. Um, maybe next week we can do donuts. Oh, maybe. Maybe on Friday we'll do donuts. Um, so you can check me out, Catherine Snyder LeMay. I'm already tagged in the post. Um, I would love to see your lanterns. And if you want more art, I do it um, Wednesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. from my kitchen. Um, uh, come check it out. And I will talk to y'all soon. Go Grays. Go JC's of 97. Um, and I am to go. Best thing is about being an Allegheny girl. All right. Bye. Do you think any of my classmates will 